Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to a new video. In today's video I thought I'd share a day in my life as a Muslim homemaker or Muslim housewife. I feel like the term housewife or homemaker is perceived as something negative especially in the west and considering that I live in the west I wasn't sure whether I should call myself this but then I realized I am a wife and I spend most of my time at home so yes I am a homemaker and that's not something to be ashamed about rather it's actually something to be so grateful for because I get to live such a soft life and I feel like I'm truly aligned with like my feminine energy. So I hope today's video shows the beauty and the softness of being a homemaker. After praying Fajr with my husband and doing dhikr and reading Quran, I either get a few more hours of sleep or I stay awake. And then I like to start the day with reading a book with a cup of tea just because it gets me off of my phone in the morning and whenever I start my days with spending too much time on my phone or too much time on social media, the rest of my day is really unproductive. I'm currently reading a book called In My Mother's Footsteps which is a book on a Palestinian woman who goes back to her hometown and basically explores it through her mother's footsteps. I would definitely recommend this book to anyone who wants to learn more about the history of Palestine but in a way that is written like a novel so that it is both informative but also a beautiful read. After reading for a while, I like to journal for a little bit and this is mostly a to-do list so that I have my intentions and my plan for the day. But I don't really write it out as a to-do list, I write it out as a things I'd like to do or I write today I get to. And by writing it out like this, I feel like it has much more of a grateful tone to it because a to-do list to me sounds like something that has a heavy load to it, something that you would rather not do but you have to do it. So in the morning I make breakfast for me and my husband and today I am making this bread which you have to put in the oven to basically finish it but it's already made. So I am not yet one of the girls who can make her own bread but that's something for in the future inshallah. So yeah today I have a bit of a more luxurious breakfast I would say because I have leftover salmon from yesterday's meal and salmon is expensive so definitely don't think we're having this every day but yeah I decided to make some sort of a sandwich of salmon with eggs and then I also have sausage that I put in the eggs with cheese as well. So let's talk about my cleaning routine, which is definitely a daily routine, but I don't do all the types of cleaning that there are every day. For example, I don't vacuum every day, but I do clean the kitchen every day just because I like my kitchen to be a very tidy environment and I don't like starting off my day making breakfast in a unclean kitchen. I don't really have a weekly schedule when it comes to my cleaning. I really look day to day what I feel like is necessary and if I don't feel like there is anything necessary then i just end the day with cleaning a little bit of the kitchen today i did a laundry load and i also vacuumed and i also did some redecorating because i went to this pumpkin farm and they had these cute little pumpkins that i could put up as like decoration and as part of a 90 day challenge, I'm also incorporating a daily habit of doing Islamic studies. So that's what I'm doing here. 
I'm really at the beginning stages of learning more about Islam, so for now I won't share exactly what I'm doing, but I'll make sure to make a video about it in the future, inshallah. I like to divide my day up in sections, where every prayer basically marks the start of a new section. So ideally, the time between Fajr and Dhuhr for me is the time to do all the productive things, all the things that I would like to get done. And after Dhuhr marks the time where I get to spend some time on myself, spend some time on things that I would like to do, creative projects. And in today's case, I decided to crochet for a little bit because crocheting is something that I recently picked up again and I've been really enjoying it so far. Alright, so I just finished with the last granny square and the plan is to make a bag from this. So it's going to be, I'm going to put a picture of the inspiration uh, on the screen and I'm going to, yeah, crochet everything together now. I'm not sure how to yet, so I'm going to open up a tutorial. But before I do that, I would like to share another crochet project of mine that I finished probably two years ago already because if you do not know before i made the content that i make today i sometimes made crochet videos on youtube this was before i even reverted to islam so i removed all the content but i thought it would be funny to share just because this is like a part of me from a few years ago and i'm kind of refinding the joy of spending time on something creative so I'm just going to grab that project and I'll show it to you. All right, so here is the crochet bag that I made, I think two years ago now. And yeah, I, I still think it's such a beautiful bag. It feels like a personal art piece. That is what this feels like to me. So this is from an old era of me and I'm trying to get bits and pieces from that era back just because spending time on something creative, especially I think as a woman is so, good for you also because it like gets you off your phone because you really can't scroll and do something creative like crocheting at the same time so yeah crocheting has really been helping me with not spending as much time on social media as well as reading of course but yeah so i'm just going to try to finish this bag but we'll see how far we get today So here is the finished bag, or at least I think I'm going to keep it like this. I think it looks very, very cute, like a casual on the go bag, but maybe I'll add something here just because it feels like the bag, the opening of the bag is a little bit low. So maybe I'll put like a triangle here just so that more stuff can fit inside or i was also thinking of maybe putting like a ribbon here so please help me out let me know in the comments whether i should put like a beige triangle here so that the bag is a little bit bigger or maybe should i put a ribbon here in either purple or blue greenish so that it also goes a little bit up but also to make it look more cute but i do think the bag like this is already very nice so yeah, I'm very happy with the result. I'm going to clean up the crocheting supplies, then probably either start cooking already or I'm just going to chill for a little while and then start cooking later. Mm -hmm. 
So again, when we talk about dividing the day up into sections, I really considered Azure Prayer as the start of the preparing dinner and cleaning up section of the day. So today I decided to cook a Turkish dinner because I really love the Turkish kitchen and I like making Turkish rice and also I've never really made lentil soup before but I really like it so I decided to try it out for the first time but I don't think it's going to be very difficult. And that's also why I love making soups, it's just so easy to make a good soup. And then finally between Maghrib and Isha is really the time to wind down so I have a last cup of tea of the day and then I try to stay away from screens just so that it'll be easier to fall asleep but I'm gonna be honest I don't always do this so that's still something that I'm working on. Of course now that it is fall the last prayer of the day is much earlier than I was used to in the summer so I think Isha prayer is for me around 9.30 now and I've been really trying trying to change with the seasons where I try to get to bed earlier and wake up earlier as well. During the summer it's so easy to go to bed late and now that the seasons are changing I am taking the opportunity to also change my sleeping schedule as well. So that was all for the daily routine of a homemaker. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you'd like me to make more of these types of videos where I do mostly voiceovers then let me know in the comments and i'll see you in the next one